Well, Vicki, right now the district is looking at three options, with one of them being keeping things exactly how they are. Now, everybody agrees none of these options are ideal, and right now they're just trying to find ways to minimize the impacts to student learning. Like many districts across the country, Jefferson County Public Schools continues to deal with a shortage of bus drivers. Since July of last year, they've lost 99 drivers and added 68. Despite aggressive recruiting efforts, they expect to be down another 30 drivers by the beginning of the next school year. The goal is that we need to be in a position that our daily routes do not exceed our daily drivers available. Under current projections, in the 2024-25 school year, the district will have 474 drivers available daily. That's taking into account an average 52 driver absences. Right now, the only plan that guarantees all routes are covered and arrive on time is option one, which would only bus students to their reside schools. But there are concerns that could reduce equitable access to magnet and traditional schools. I want to say openly in a full-throated way, we don't need to move forward with any option that has uh, concerns around racial equity. Under option one, the district would still transport special education and McKinney-Vento students, along with A5 alternative schools, which include Grace James Academy and W.E.B. Du Bois. The district is also working with TARG to provide alternatives to students who will be removed from the bus. Our plan right now is to provide any middle school or high school student who would like a TARC pass, that they would be able to use that TARC pass at any time, along with ensuring that every one of our middle and high schools has a stop within the proximity of the school. The district's only other option would be creating multiple magnet hubs where parents could drop off their students to get on a direct bus route to their school. But the district says it will still not have enough drivers to make that option feasible. The district is still reviewing and fine-tuning these options along with additional aggressive targeted recruiting efforts. They expect to make a recommendation to the board in the next four weeks. Reporting live in studio, Drew Gardner, WLKY News.